Hello, it's Father Jason, continuing our architectural tour of St. James Paris. One of the things that I hope is becoming very clear with these videos is how the physical space of the church building is so important because it stands as a reminder and tells the story of the gospel of Jesus Christ. From the entryway to the church to the summit of its building, which is the altar, we hear in the physical building the story of Jesus Christ and of God's love told for us. So the furniture and the space itself is all configured to tell this story. Where I'm standing today is in the chapel of St. James. It's a small space and you can hear my voice echoing, but this space is, like all chapels, a space dedicated for prayer, for reflection, and for the preparation of the Blessed Sacrament. So behind me you'll see the stained glass that we have. Um, it might be difficult to see, it looks like the glass is reflecting, but it has a cross and a symbol of the dove for the Holy Spirit. We have the altar, the credence table. Now credence table that comes, may, you may have guessed, from the word where we get creed, which is I believe. And on the credence table, when we were celebrating the Eucharist, normally we would have the lavabo here, and the lavabo is the place where the priest for, performs the ablutions, that is the washing of their hands before and after they preside at the Lord's table. Of course, in a chapel, we have the altar, and we have the altar rails, which you may recognize as being the original brass rails that were at one point um, at the altar. And we have a pew, and you can see a picture of our parish rhythm of life designed for us by Deb Downey. That's the way that we organize our communal life here at St. James Paris. Now, this chapel space is called the Father George Elson Memorial Chapel in honor of this man right here, Father George Elson, who was born in this parish and went to serve in World War II and later became a priest uh, doing his training at my alma mater of Wycliffe College. So Father George, Father George was born and raised here in Paris and was able to exercise his ministry um, at his retirement as being an honorary assistant here. And this space is dedicated to Father George because of his ministry and his legacy here at St. James Paris and also because of the personal touches. The brass Father George repurposed and was able to use for an, uh, a chapel space and the altar itself here was made by Father George and the cross that hangs above the altar was donated by Joan Nelson, Father George's wife. And so Father George's physical uh, gifts of making these items are so important for our chapel space. But Father George had a heart for those whom he served. And so really, although this space is in honor of Father George, it's also in honor of all those who have served both in priestly and in non-priest roles, lay roles here in the church. And so we want to thank them all for the legacy and the foundation of faith that they have built. And finally, I would have to show out our children's cross. This cross is used by our children when they process into the church and was crafted by Lloyd Millward in honor of one of our former parishioners. So this space is used for personal private prayer. It's also the space that Reverend Sarah and I use when we are uh, offering the sacrament of, sacrament of reconciliation. It's a beautiful space and it's part of what makes St. James a great place to be and to serve. And so I thank you all for tuning in and I ask you to uh, stay tuned for next time when I offer a tour of the sanctuary, the altar, the rear doss and everything that goes with it. Take care and God bless.